I just thought I'd film, um, I've never done a filming of me doing a repotting. Um, I received this um, Dendrobium Jonesy Vera Magnificum stroke <laughs> Sunray Large White. So there's the uh, name, because I definitely haven't pronounced it correctly. And um, this is one I'd done earlier. So these are both the, exactly the same plants. I bought two for... They were on special to buy too. So I've done that one already. And this one I'm doing next. This one got a little bit of leaf curl, which was done in the post, you know, where they wrapped it up so it wouldn't get too much damage. So I did think about taking those off, but I thought, no, I'll probably leave them on because, you know, they haven't gone yellow or anything. Um, I'm using this um, orchid mix, which is premium Daltons that we buy at our local DIY store but I think it sits there for a very long time because when I opened it up I don't know if you can see in there but it literally has started breaking down already which is crap really so what I've done I've put it in this um, what do you want to call that sieve and I've rinsed it all, all off I've rinsed off all the um, broken down you know, bits, small bits in that. So I've just got the larger bits left in there. Using these size pots, 12 centimetres. I think that's about right for that plant. I've put a little bit in the bottom. I'm now going to try <laughs> try and get this plant out of here without damaging any of these roots. Um, that one wasn't so bad. This one I think is going to be a little bit more challenging. So we'll see how we go. coming I think I might have to damage some roots just give it a really good squeeze okay. right so gradually coming out looks like I won't have to damage too many roots or oh, just the one so that's all right and that's stuck to the pot so unavoidable um, so shake all the old media off medium as much as you can. I'm not going to muck about with it too much and try and keep those because they were aerial roots and the roots are gorgeous. It's a really healthy plant so I'm really pleased with that. I'm not trying to get too much off. So, so right so just put it in the pot. Keep the nose. I'm going to put it, this is the old um, pseudobulb here so I'm going to put it at the back of the pot so it's got a little bit more growth to come to the front. Fill it up with the bark. Hopefully I've done enough. I would give it a good shake. Could get it in, in around those roots down there. Take those out. So press it down. You can't do the lift the pot test with these to know that you've got them in so um, got them in nice and solid because obviously they're clay pots and clay pots are a lot heavier than plastic pots so I literally just firm it in as best you can and you know you more or less know if the pants pretty solid in the pot Ooh, just enough medium it's, uh, you know, it's fairly solid. Like I move it and the pot moves as well. So I'd say that's uh, pretty good. I might just cover that root with... So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to top dress them with moss. Now, last orchid meeting I went to, they told me, the guy who's been doing it for donkey's years, told me that he doesn't use moss because he feels it takes some of the goodness away from the the orchids um, and he's probably right because he's been doing it for a long long time but I like it and none of my orchids that's been in moss had moss on them for quite some time have suffered so I'm going to top dress these with moss and then I'm going to put them in the um, in the orchid house and I'm going to show you what we've done in there 
website. So this is the moss. So this is the moss. Comes with everything in it. Pine needles, the odd weed, little mushrooms or fungi. Um, it's quite thick because it's grown, you know, it's come off the, the pine forest floor, if you like. Um, so I just sort of stretch it out and try not to put too much on. I do like this stuff. I just sort of, I don't think it holds a lot of moisture because um, when I go in the shaders in a minute, I'll show you how it, it does dry out. But I don't know, I just think it looks nice. I mean, one day I might decide, nope, it's not working and I shouldn't really have that on there, in which case I will take it all off. But for now, I just think it looks attractive. So that's that one. Right, so here we are in the shade house. We've moved the spa now. We've um, pushed it right up into that corner. So that gives us, what gives me a lot more room down this end. I've got a little uh, workstation there. Um, this is just some moss I'm soaking. I'm going to do some mounts. I've got a project on the go and I'll do a separate video on that. And I've got some um, punga log, tree fern log. That's going to be part of that project. So I'll show you that on a separate video. So here we are. So the, the rack used to be along that wall there. And we've now moved it to this wall here. Um, because I think it can get a bit more light there. And we are going to trim those trees up above but we are going to set up some lights um, so got all the catlias at the top that one's still going this little sweetie's opened up recently and that one's really gorgeous and that is a what's that one so look. that's that one there you can read that there you go so, um, Catlia's at the top, along with Dens, and next line down, we've got the Insidiums and uh, Metoniopsis, some more Dendrobiums there, and the Paphlopediums there, and I've got loads of space for more, hee <laughs> hee Anyway... <laughs> I've got to spend an awful lot of money. Oh, I managed to get some Spanish moss as well. So I've hung that there. So that looks good. And that little bit broke off. So I hung that on a separate piece. And I've put my mounts in this window. So it's a bit of a backlight, so you can't really see them. But they are doing exceptionally well. I am so pleased with those. Oops, get back. There you go. So yeah. So that's all the changes. So we're not moving this again. <laughs> we're not making any more changes. Obviously, this lot's got to stay out here in the winter. Um, and I'm hoping to set up some clay pot heaters to overwinter it. But we don't get very much frost. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get any frost in this shade house. Because um, now, you know, once I close these doors, it's going to keep it a lot warmer. Little bit of residual heat off the spa, I reckon. And what with the clay pot heaters, hopefully they'll be not cosy, but they won't be frozen. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye for now.